So here we are in uh, After Effects and I'm importing uh, the file that I have uh, designed in Illustrator called Messenger Interface.ai. And I'm importing it as a composition and each layer will retain its original size and the anchor point will be in the middle of the layer. So I press OK and I brought in the interface. I can double click and here's exactly what I have prepared in uh, Illustrator, which uh, has already every layer uh, properly and correctly uh, labeled. So usually what I do at the beginning when I start working on a After Effects uh, file that imports a Illustrator uh, document is to uh, color code. So for example, all the uh, check marks, I want to make them a different color, for example, yellow, so I can recognize them um, and uh, move them forward because they will only come in later. And then uh, I also want to uh, have the messages in a different color. Let's say I'm going to make them blue and I move them forward because they will come in later. And then those elements that don't change, I make them no color and I lock them. So this one is going to be locked. Then I have the quoted text and the type area. So the quoted text, I'm going to make it uh, peach and I recognize it. I will come in much later. And this is where the animation will start from. So I want to do everything in eight seconds, which is the length of this composition. I'm going to start with uh, showing the type message here. And then after one second, I'm going to hide that layer, which is the type area layer. And because I'm going to use it for just very short, I'm going to make this one another color, let's say brown. And then I trim it over there. You're doing alternate and uh, closed square bracket. So it will only appear for the first second of the animation, because at that point, I will have actual text appearing there. And I will be using the Open Sans font, which is the same I used in Illustrator with size, I think it was 30 in Illustrator. And uh, the color I'm going to use there is going to be a, a very light shade of gray, which I use as D-E-D-E-D-E -E -D -E -D -E, three times. And I'm going to start typing there. And it's going to be the same uh, message that will come up later, which is, hey, bro, uh, what's up? Hey, bro. OK, so this one will appear. And obviously, because I want it to appear as if I'm typing it, I will need to select the layer and then add a animation. And then I will go to Add Text Selector Range. And then below here, I will pick the opacity as the property that I want to animate. And then I will bring the opacity to zero. And then I will open the range selector and then start a keyframe here from zero. And then add a keyframe here with 100%. So the animation is completed. But if I do it this way, you see that the letters are kind of coming in with a bit of opacity. I don't want that to happen. So I open the advanced properties here and I change that one to uh, smoothness to zero. So they will really come in one at a time as they are typed in. And then uh, I also want to uh, make them appear at a different speed. So I'm going to add a easy ease for both of them and then uh, add a uh, stop point to the preview so that I can preview this part only. Okay, it's blurring quite a bit because I'm at 200%, but if I select all layers, since they're all coming from After Effects, sorry, from Illustrator, so they're all vector, I select also the background and I click this icon here, which is the collapse transformation, all of them will be very crystal clear sharp so long that I'm at 100%. The um, preview, then also if I want to zoom in later with the pre-composition of, of this one, then I can do that one without a problem and they will not pixelate at all. So they only pixelate if I zoom in uh, with the view uh, in After Effects, but not if I zoom them in using scale. So this is just a preview on the screen, not actual the layer. So uh, let's uh, zoom out a bit so I have a clearer view of what's going on and I can close 
all these keyframes since I've already animated them. So here's what happened now. I will start typing and go WhatsApp. And then uh, moments later, the first message will appear. So I can push all the other elements forward. So, hey bro, what's up? And then at the second second of the animation, I make this one appear and this one disappear. All right, so we've got, hey bro, what's up? And the message is sent. As it is sent, I will also have to remember to have the sent check mark there. And then after maybe 10 frames, I transform that one into received. Okay, so that's what's going to happen. So sent, received. But when I receive it, I need to hide the sent because there is this little leg on the left that is not shown in WhatsApp when it's sent out. And it goes this way, sent, received, sent, received and then wait until maybe three seconds here and then at three seconds i'm going to make this one disappear and it become red okay and then uh, wait for a second and uh, the new message pops up by right, this should be the typing one. Yeah, if I really wanted to make it super accurate, but the problem is that I don't know how it looks like because nobody is typing it to me now in WhatsApp. So I will need to skip that part. Uh, there is also something I want to adjust here. Uh, if you see these two layers, one disappear before the other starts typing. I want to address that part. And also the problem is that when this one starts typing, is actually not at the same spot as the one being typed because I have been using uh, the text editor in Illustrator for type message here and the text editor in After Effects for Hey Bro, uh, what's up? So I need to change this one and align them. Now they are aligned. So uh, maybe I get the animation to start a little bit earlier. And, uh, there you go. So we'll say type message here, and then we'll change to hey bro, what's up? I don't want that frame with nothing being displayed. So I want to make sure that it goes from here to there in one frame. Hey bro, what's up? And then the message is uh, sent. Mario, what's up? Okay, when the message is sent, I need to bring back these three layers, which are the message and the check mark. So it goes, hey bro, what's up? And then I've got the sent, received, read. And then here probably is where it's supposed to show typing, but I don't know how it looks like. And so I will wait until the fourth second and then the second message come in. And then uh, uh, I have to remember also that after I send a message, the type area that says type uh, message here, that one comes back. So I duplicate that layer and uh, show it again as soon as the first message is sent out. So type message, hey bro, what's up, send type message, yeah, it comes back. And then it stays until his message come, come in. And then uh, a few frames later until here, maybe here's where I type again. So I duplicate the layer with the text and I push it back a couple of frames because we have already established that because this one comes in uh, with an animator, the first frame or so, there is nothing there. So if I push it back a couple of frames, then one disappear when the other one appears. And the second message will be what I'm going to send him back, which is what movie are you watching? Okay, so what movie are you watching? Watching. 
because this message is slightly longer than the first one, I'm going to show the keyframes and expand a little bit more. It's going to take me longer to type this message. And uh, there you go, the message comes in. What movie are you watching? And then it would be fun also if I made a typo and moved back. Yeah, but maybe I'll keep it for another tutorial next time. And then the message come in and the type area comes back once the message has been sent. Making sure that there are no frames without text in the text area. So let's look at it, how it looks like so far. I think before I preview, I want to make sure that I also have the quoted message, which I left down here. And maybe I bring it up so that I remember where it is. So the message from Mario comes in. I said that I wanted to do a little bit of slide so that it looks like I'm quoting that message. So I take Mario's message, uh, give it a time to read it first, yeah, a couple of seconds or a second at least, till five. And then here I make a very quick animation, show the position, and then uh, change it to easy ease, and then move a couple of frames forward. Before this one comes up, I want to um, move the message slightly to the right and back. So three keyframes only. Let's see how it looks like. Yeah, I want to focus only on that animation. So beginning and end of the preview area. Play. Okay, cool. I like it. That message obviously have to come up later. So when I do that little animation, then the quoted message comes up. So text moves, quoted text comes up. I still need to have type message here until that point. So this is the one. And a couple of frames later, when I start typing, what movie are you watching? And then once that message is sent, this layer disappear, the quoted text also disappear, and the message is going to be displayed. Lastly, I need to add the uh, status of the message. So as soon as it appears on the screen, it shows sent. And then a few frames later, it become delivered. And I don't need the sent anymore. So sent, delivered, and write. Right. So let's have a look at this part only for the preview. Let me also stretch the red check mark for the first message. So it stays there. And uh, let's focus on the top part only so that we can see if the animation works fine from the beginning. Okay, great. So let's have a look at the uh, all the parts together. And I'm going to pick a fit uh, from the display area so that I can see everything in one screen. And let's play. Okay, cool. If you like the tutorial, remember to like and subscribe. It helps me to stay motivated to create more content. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.